Rose here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It's currently just past 1 p.m. in the UK here where I am, um, which means it's just past 8 a.m. in Eastern Time in America. Um, so Barfest is starting in just under an hour. Um, it's Friday also, by the way, um, and I'm super, super, super excited. Freeze Briar Fest, it's virtual, but you know, there's perks to it. Like the fact that I'm not gonna have to sit in the heat and um, be in crowds. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm super excited. I'm excited to take part in workshops. Hopefully, get some cute ponies. Um, sorry if the camera's kind of shaky. It's not on a tripod because this is a vlog style video. And let me just show you on my phone how on my phone and show you how big this thing is. It's not a vlogging camera. It's a regular photography camera for photography. So you guys didn't know I am big into photography. Yeah, as you can probably see, um, it's pretty big and it, I believe it weighs like 800 grams and holding it in one hand is pretty hard. So hopefully I can um, manage to film this vlog um, without too much difficulty. Hopefully, if not, I might just resort to my phone, which hopefully won't be too bad quality. Yeah, I'm super excited and I can't wait till 2 o'clock. I've got myself all set up here. I've got my phone, my uh, computer out and my phone out. I've got the Briar's website brought up on my computer, which has just decided to shut down, thanks. Um, it's currently um, 54 past 1 here in the UK which means that it's 54 past 8 Eastern time. So Briarfest is starting in six minutes. I'm super excited. I've got a bunch of uh, parcels to open full of ponies. I actually ordered four. Um, one of them is still in the post. Uh, this is actually because uh, usually there's Clarion, something called the Clarion. Um, I'm sure all of you know about the Clarion. Um, but this year, because it's a virtual event, I don't think there is such a thing as the Clarion. <laughs> At least I haven't heard of like a virtual Clarion happening this year. So I decided to use eBay as a kind of Clarion and I went ahead and bought some ponies. Um, most of them are bodies, three of them are bodies, one of them is an OF. Um, but one of the bodies still isn't here, hopefully he'll arrive tomorrow. If not, then he's going to arrive after Briarfest, sadly. Um, but yeah, I've got two of the bodies and the OF here with me. Um, you can see. And as soon as Briarfest starts, I'm going to open them. So yeah, that's, that's super exciting. So I just noticed <laughs> that um, my computer was low on battery. So I've gone and got my charger and we're all good now. We're ready to go. Yo, we're live! So it fine it took me like seven minutes to actually find the page. Um because it when you click the link in their Instagram um bio it and then click like got to the breakfast page, you then had to click free day ticket holder at the top right here. To actually go to the page so now I'm here we've got all the everything is here um, so I'm gonna quickly have a look for all of this and then I'm gonna go ahead and open the ponies I have bought of eBay that I have been saving for Briarfest
I have just looked over Briarfest. It seems to be lots to do. The workshops look really fun, so I'm really excited to do those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the ponies I have to open now. Honestly, I'm gonna film that. I'm gonna open one of them first because it actually arrived today and it might have corona on it. So I will open it and wash my hands and then open the others because they have been sitting in our quarantine room um, for like since Monday. Uh, so that'll definitely be free of corona. My camera didn't, decided not to uh, turn on while I was opening the box. You know, I haven't taken the pony out yet, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> this is actually not the pony I was expecting to be in this box, okay. Um, so I was expecting a body um, gem twist, the hunter one, hunting set one. But this is actually the one that I expected would come tomorrow. So that's a surprise. Don't know what take, what's taking the other girl so long. Because I believe she was the one who was posted first class. Well, this one was posted second class or something. But hopefully she'll come tomorrow. cute mold and I'm really excited to uh, do for the project I have planned for him. He's gonna look beautiful. Yeah, he. Um, so for those of you who didn't, don't know, this is um, Red Rum. He's a UK exclusive on the Zenyatta, um, not Zenyatta, Lonesome Glory mold. Um, actually, he actually has more flaws than I noticed in the photos, but then I didn't really look up over the photos very well at all. I just glanced um, because he is a body anyway so I don't really care about the flaws even if he had a broken leg doesn't matter because I just stick it back together. Yeah he's really pretty and cute. The feel to his plastic is kind of almost different than most briars. I hope he's easy to um, re-sculpt because I'm gonna need to use heat to like bend some places so hopefully that isn't too difficult but yeah he's super cute. I really like this guy. I'm just gonna put him on the side here. Um, so I'm um, actually, because he might have corona on him, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I can open the other ponies. Next pony, this one's also a body. Um, this one's not got corona on it. Like I said, he's been sat uh, in our quarantine room for the whole week, so he's fine. Um, clue to who this is, this is actually also a racehorse. Um, two racehorse bodies, but he's actually going to be um, re-sculpted to a cobra mare instead of a racehorse stallion. Here we go. Uh, this is probably another clue: the fact that he has a stand. Yeah. Well, I've never seen toilet paper um, rolls in. Um, I'm not sure if this is toilet paper, but some sort of cardboard tubes and packaging. I've seen toilet paper, like with my other one, but never actually the rolls. <laughs> also, I'm really sorry that this vlog is very long. Half of it's probably going to be me unboxing horses. The other half is probably going to be some sped up footage of uh, me like doing stuff for the workshops but I'm not so sure. The funny story actually with the workshops I got everything I stocked up made sure I bought everything so I had everything I needed Um, I bought varnish because I paint mostly with pastels That's like my main medium I do use oil sometimes for extra shading or um, acrylics or airbrush for like base coats um, but mainly pastels and I obviously need varnish for that. I ordered varnish, I ordered two bottles just to make sure I have enough for everything and they sent me the wrong stuff and I was read about it online and I was like it's meant and I read that it's actually meant to be quite tough so I was like yeah that'd be great that'd be perfect because it meant my customs will be even more durable but I tried it out and it freaking left white, misty white patches all over my model. 
How? This is meant to be airbrushed onto models. It's a varnish. How? Why? Okay, yeah. Uh, so... I tested it out on two models. One of them was a little Schleich Donkey custom, which is very simple, and I wasn't sure on the plan anyway, so I'll just make him a Pinto. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with that donkey anyway, what color I was going to... Sure, I wasn't sure if I'm going to leave it brown or if I was going to make it a Pinto, so he'll be a Pinto, it's fine. And then my um, Briar Spirit re-sculpt, who you'll see in a future video, I'll do like a process video on him. Uh, yeah, I had him, I had just finished painting a coat in oils. He's been sat there for like two weeks waiting for him to dry and I went and varnished him just to make sure it's all sturdy. What does it do? Yeah, obviously it makes it misty. So yeah, now I have to redo him. Luck yeah. Luckily it wasn't, uh, it was like his first coat of shading so I didn't lose like hours and hours of work on him. Um, I'll just have to redo that. But yeah, that's, that's sad and now I ordered varnish my mom has very kindly bought me the right stuff and paid for it to be um shipped with first class royal mail so it's meant to come within it's meant to come by tomorrow so hopefully i'll have the time to do the painting workshops i am a fairly quick painter if i get to it um but yeah hopefully it comes. If not, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to skip the painting workshops, which will be sad. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can... It comes and I can take part. Anyway, let's get back into the unboxing. You can probably tell what mold this is, and then it doesn't really matter what horse it is because it's going to be painted anyway. And he's literally like a complete body like this guy. He could still technically be used for play, but... That's what probably he was used for, to be honest. But this guy, he's in a state. Funny story, I wasn't actually really looking for bodies. Um, and then I saw this one for like a really cheap price. He was only like seven pounds, so that's like what, ten dollars. Um, and we usually don't get bodies for so cheap here in the UK. I mean, you can get them for like fairly cheap, but it's not very common. Um, you usually pay at least 10, 15 pounds. And this guy was buy it now. He wasn't an auction. He was buy it now, 7 pounds. And then a little bit of shipping, but it's only like 4 pounds. Um, shipping. Uh, so I just went like, yes. I've had so much fun re-sculpting my spirit. Spirit? What the hell? Why did I just say it like that? My spirit that uh, I want to do some more. Uh, so I bought this guy. And then I kind of looked and I found more bodies and more bodies. So yeah, I bought several bodies. But yeah, this this guy is in a state. He looks okay on the side, perfectly fine, except for this leg. Um, he's in a state. He was apparently used as a practice etching model. Luckily, he doesn't really have many rough patches. He has a few, but not too many. So that's really good. That that's That's good. Yeah, he's. I'm gonna turn him into a cobra mare somehow. Uh, I've got a plan drawn out. I've planned what I need to change to turn him into a cobra mare. Yeah, cute boy. Um, and these two customs and the other one that I'm waiting for the body, other body, they'll be resculpted, painted, and then all be sold, and all the profits from their sales will go to animal rescue charities because. I do not earn anything on my customs. I um, any I have to obviously pay for the materials and bodies, um, with what I sell other customs for, and then any profits go to animal rescue charities. Yeah, that's that's those two. And now final pony. Uh, my uh, stepdad's already walked in here once, and my camera's card got full once. So hopefully I don't have to break again. Yeah, let's see how we open this guy. Let the paper 
and stuff. Packing peanuts. Wow, we love packing peanuts. They're not good for the environment. But I'll, I'll re reuse them all. These actually also kind of look like the ones that like dissolve in water. Okay. He's got BMX cards. Yes, boy. BMX card came with him. For you that, guys that don't know, BMX is the British version of Nan. Before I open him, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and put all these um, packing peanuts back in his box. I'll reuse them and send other ponies in them. I always reuse all the material that my ponies comes with if I can. Comes with, comes in. Come in. Uh, sometimes it's just like too taped up and you can't like reuse the bubble wrap or something. But if I can, I will reuse it to send my own sales. Okay. There's lots of packing material here at this point. It's crazy. Packing materials everywhere. Right. So, here's a pony. Ah, he looks so pretty already. Can't wait for this guy. I've been waiting a whole week to open him. I don't know how I actually managed to control myself like that. Oh my days. Heck yes. Jesus Christ, he's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my days. Wow. Okay, this horse is literally amazing. Apparently he's not great at standing, so we'll have to figure out something for him. Usually what I do is I just put a bit of blue tag underneath the one of their legs. Damn. Jesus Christ. So he is a, a Peterstone DAH from 2014. Okay, wow, that's long ago. Um, on the American Saddlebred mold. I love this mold. I love how it looks. I think I adore him so much. Look at his cute face. He's glossy. He, oh, he's so gorgeous. Oh my day. Horse is beautiful. Um, I believe she called him Frost or something like that. And he has this little one flaw that she pictured. It's actually not that visible. It's a tiny, tiny little paint drip. Other than that, I don't really see anything on him. And I'm so happy with this guy. Literally so happy. Apparently, he doesn't stand very well. So we'll have to see. Oh, yeah, he's a bit tipsy. I think. I think all I need to do though is just literally put a bit of blue tack on this foot, this back one back foot, and he should stand perfectly fine. So yeah, oh my jeez, days he's amazing, he's so freaking pretty. I adore this horse so much. Wow, this video doesn't even give him justice. He is so freaking pretty. His dapples are just gorgeous. Look at those dapples. Let's see, is it on autofocus? Manual. Look at those dapples. He is so pretty. His shading is gorgeous. Oh my god. I love this horse so much. So, I'm so glad I um, caved and bought this guy. I was considering not buying him because I was like, I need to save up for breakfast. But no, no. I'm so happy I bought this guy. He is freaking amazing. He's just amazing, and I definitely want more in this mold. This tail, it's so pretty. Oh my god. So, I probably end up just keeping his name Frost, or some, I'll do maybe like Frosty or something. Does it say his? Oh. So, I'm going to have to message her to ask what she showed him as, because the BMX card isn't, BMX card isn't filled in. So, if I want to use it, I have to fill it in, and I have to put the right information. When is it valid to? Let's see. Let's put this guy down. Let's see when it's valid to. So, 2021. Yeah, okay. Um, I definitely need to ask her what she showed it as, and et cetera, et cetera, so that I can show him at BMX. Next year, hopefully. Hopefully it happens. Definitely not going to happen this year. Definitely not. Um, most likely not. So yeah, those are the ponies. I'm just going to quickly close up 
um, pack everything up, and then I'll give you guys a little overview of these ponies. Y'all, these ponies are so freaking amazing. Um, I'm so excited to paint these guys. And then my little baby. I have to confess, um, I did leave the hobby. Well, I didn't completely leave. I did leave the hobby, the bra hobby. I still had Schleich and stuff for maybe two, three months this year and I sold off all my briars except for a few stalemates and one traditional custom and all my Peter Stones and everything so this guy is actually the first OF traditional I have back in my collection we'll have hopefully a few more after briar fest but yeah he's he's the first OF traditional now that I'm kind of back into the hobby after that little break um yeah, he is freaking amazing. I love this horse so much. I got a, such a good deal for him, in my opinion. He is freaking amazing. Oh my god, I love him so much. So, uh, now that I've opened all the ponies, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look over the Virtual Briar Fest some more. I'm going to look at, like, the... Uh, Oh, damn. Some of these are... I'm just looking at Culp Model Horse Store. And some of these are... Some of these taxes I haven't looked closely, but some of these tax sets look freaking amazing. Uh, I might need to get one of these. They look freaking gorgeous. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna look over them and pick my favorite. And the cool thing is they actually come with horses. That's real cool. I'm gonna go over them and see which ones I really like. I don't have a cart, <laughs> but I'm sure I can find one, right? I can definitely find a car. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look over these and uh, see which ones are my favorite. So Maggie Bennett actually has this like sale where she's selling um, a random micro for $35 and I might have to get this because I kind of want to get some likes to like up now so I'm currently going through it and seeing if I can maybe find some cute customs to add to my collection. So I 
have just been watching a bunch of the workshop videos and some of them I'm kind of just watching over and just kind of learning as much as I can others I will actually like make the horse while like watching it like not a sh not make the horse but like for example sculpt while I'm watching it or I or like paint while I'm watching it just like going along with the um workshop as like to almost to take part um in it so I watched one of the the luscious locks by Raven Maddock if that's how you pronounce her name that's her name interesting and I'm definitely enjoying it and I feel like tomorrow's going to be more of the day I'm going to be um, actually going along and doing what they're teaching me to do while I'm watching it if my um, varnish comes hopefully it does because I really want to use my Briar Spirit resculpt that I did for the um, Appaloosas and Varnish Roans um, tutorial tutorial workshop um because that looks really cool and i was going to make him a leopard appaloosa anyway so i might as well try that method because i've never really successfully made a leopard appaloosa that i was like super happy with so basically i just try like i've made ones i was happy with but not like super happy with um so i just try different methods you know not sure who I'm gonna use for the dapple gray workshop. Currently watching <laughs> the Briar First Live for today. So it's currently almost 11 p.m. in the UK. But that's like 6, I think, p.m. Um, Eastern time. Um, it's the end of the day, of the first day of Briar Fest for me. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I've not really done much today. I haven't bought any models. Haven't really done any like workshops fully other than just watch them. I haven't actually made a model or a piece of tack along with the workshop. But I've given myself the day basically to kind of familiarize myself what with everything. We'll be going to bed in a second. Um, I've had a great day. Tomorrow is the day I'm actually going to actually go along with the workshops and. Uh, Maybe buy a few models, hopefully. I've been looking around. I've got a few I've got my eye on. Um, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.